You didn't know she was a chick. Well, sir, there are many things that you have evaded you throughout your life. I hope. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Richard Coughlin. I'm known on the stand up circuit as David Beckham of stand up comedy. The reason for this has nothing to do with me being good looking in size, obviously, it's not because I'm any good at football. The reason I'm called the David Beckham of stand up is because the reason. It's okay, sir, I've got me own punchlines, so I've come prepared. <laughs> This is one of the aspects of stand up you learn. Don't just write the joke and then forget the punchline. Go, fuck it, that feed is brilliant. It doesn't even need a fucking finish. The reason I'm called the David Beckham of stand up is due to the fact that everyone who's ever met my wife really wants to smack her in the fucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm taking a little it's, it's, it's very positive. I was doing a gig years ago, I was doing this gig in Manchester, and this guy, I just mentioned this guy, I caught up in conversation. I said, I've got Tourette's Syndrome. He loses the oh, go on, mate, do it, go on, do it, please, if you're there, go on, please, 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 please. Basically, he just wanted me to have a fucking panic attack for his amusement, right? Which is a bit out of order, really. I mean, it's a, it's a little bit, you talk about being politically correct, it's a little bit out of order. You, you wouldn't do that of any other disease, would you? You wouldn't do that of anything else. If I'd said to the guy, it's, it's, this isn't like TV, you know, I can't hear you, I can't. <laughs> There's no red button for fucking interacting. This is. I know when you're having a chat during Coronation Street, let's battery you just go, would you shut the fuck up? But I will. <laughs> Oh, brilliant. I can't even remember the joke. It's meaningless now. It's gone. <laughs> Fuck the joke. Let's just fucking say it. There's a setting here about going in Hull. And... <laughs> oh, no. Don't be I've got unfinished business here. I'm not letting this... I haven't suffered for seven years to let this fat ball fuck ruin your life. <laughs> Madam, the, the light of the, the sun bouncing off that head, it gave me arc eye during the buttery. I was involved in a welder's mask and a pair of sunglasses. I, I, don't know, I wish every audience could be like you, then I wouldn't have to waste my time writing shit. <laughs> news story, I'll talk about this, I saw the funniest news story on Sky News two days ago, it was, a, this was delivered as a piece of bad news, right, you know they like doing these stories about how life in prison is so cushy and lovely and wonderful, this was the result, was, results of a recent survey have shown that life in British prisons is so good that the prisoners don't even want to try and escape. <laughs> good! <laughs> Some fucking nasty with red top dogs and he and his family trying to come and play fucking get out. I want him to stay there yeah, for fuck's sake. I want him left. If, if, if it stops me getting getting skinned alive and bugged on the way home, I say fucking give Peter Sutcliffe an Xbox. That'll be <laughs> when you wear when you wear boots like this, people tend to come up to you and go. Huh? Your toes go all the way to the end of the moment. And what I tend to say is, yes, but my legs end there. <laughs> but, but I walk on stage. Now, I don't know if this is the best or the worst heckle, but I don't think it's ever going to get topped. I walk on stage, first gig ever in Northern Ireland, and I walk on stage, as I am now, half man, half magic wand, and I walk on stage. <laughs> A pyro refill with a haircut, and I walked on stage, but I haven't even said anything. I just got to the mic, and this bloke in the front row goes, Excuse me! In that typical sort of Northern Irish accent, so part of a porn and a rape alarm, basically. And, and he, he goes, Excuse me! Are you gay? <laughs> Which, when you get asked that question with that level of aggression, it kind of sort of throw you a bit. And I, I didn't say yes or no, there's no, there's no point. So I just looked at the guy and said, why do you think I'm gay? And this is what he said, because you look like you've got AIDS! <laughs> <laughs> Don't act shocked, this fucking really happened, this is true life. I'm on stage in front of people, fucking this happened, because I look like I've got AIDS and I couldn't... 
problem. I think I hated about that heckle is I can't do anything about it because it's true. I can't deny it. This is why you laughed when I said it. You went, it does, yeah. I was trying to. It does look like he's got AIDS. I had Bruce Springsteen playing in my head. I couldn't get it out. I didn't know why. I didn't fucking know why. So I'm stumped at this point, and this motherfucker sat there. He's asked me this question. About 10 seconds went by, and he sat there and I went, oh fuck it. So I spat in his mouth, and I fell. <laughs> And a bitch didn't wash my hands. <laughs> sometimes, you see, sometimes you come up with a brilliant heckle put down line, but it's not funny at the time. I had like, this guy heckle me, I was doing eating clapper. And there's it. There we go. <laughs> Is that what you're doing? So you just swap out. There we go, we're ready. I had this guy in the front row, and he's one of these guys who just. I mean, you, know, you might have experienced these people before, these people who sit at the front and just don't shut the fuck up. <laughs> He was there to ruin the night. He was sat in the front, but he was sat in the front just off to the left. This guy, this guy's in, this guy's there, and he's just interrupting every little fucking bit, every little. And I went up there and I had enough. And I went, "Excuse me, mate, would you shut the fuck up?" And he looked at me and went, "No." But when he looked at me, he looked off. He wasn't looking at me. He was looking off to the side. For a minute, I thought he had one of the. Do you remember when you were at school? You had one teacher you had one of those funny fucking eyes that went. Like, but you never knew which one was which, and they try and bollock you, and then you're trying to line up with the other eyes, circling the fucker in the, in the middle of the classroom. But I thought, you can't have two eyes like that, both of them. And I said, why, aren't you look, why won't you look at me? And he goes, because I'm blind. <laughs> and, and I, well, I was like, what? Well, is this true? What proper blind? He was a bloke, I thought he was exaggerating, just you know, to hand me out. Wait, what proper blind? He went, yeah, I can't see a thing. I went, well, if you're blind, what the fuck are you sitting in the front row for, you selfish bastard? There's, 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 there's people with good eyesight at the back, straight in a fucking seat. You're taking out the fucking throat. You're supposed to have good fucking hearing. If you were that intelligent, you could have stayed outside of the foyer and fucking heard the big just as well. Save the fucking fiber. Yeah, that's the reaction I fucking got. Reaction I fucking got. Fuck him, he's disabled and he's a cunt. That makes us worse in a way. With me, but, you know, I do look like I'm dying. This is kind of a look. This is a look I've got. People are always worrying I look ill. I'm not. This is just. Some people look suave, chiseled, slim, athletic. I'm like the next size zero. I'm the next one down. I'm terminal. Right? That's it. <laughs> I'm life support machine. I'm chemo sheep. Right? <laughs> hey, no, people, hey, people take the piss. I'm not. I went to Disneyland two years ago. Shaved me and got him for fuck all. I don't care. <laughs> Front of the queue, put the wigs on, get a load of wigs, put them on the dying kids, fuck it, I'm not getting in front, there we go. But there's several other problems, there's several other problems with that, and the first problem is this, um, the other problem, I don't mind being single, for several reasons, I'm, I'm not very good in a relationship, um, for several, two main reasons, number one, uh, I'm shitty bed. I know that's a weird thing to announce to a group full of strangers, but I just, it's clear that I am shit in bed. My problem is longevity, in that, well, I don't know what it is, I haven't figured that bit out yet. Last, short longevity, I'm struggling with short at the moment. Fuck, fuck longevity. Oh, it's, it's, it's quite bad. I can have a, the other day, this is how bad it is. The other day I was having a wank and I came so quickly I apologised to myself after that. <laughs> well, I say myself, I mean, everyone else in the swimming pool as well, you know what I mean? <laughs> All their carers and things like that. <laughs> well, uh, being crap in bed now. Yes, sir. It is an admission that I actually said ten minutes ago. It shows how much fucking attention you've been paying. He's <laughs> not a bit slow. He's fucking stopped. He's he's fucking stationary. <laughs> Archaeologists on time team will dig this fucker up in a few years. So. <laughs> You've actually reversed man's development, sir. In five million, when they dig you up in five million years, they'll go, this is how they ended up back in the fucking sea, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> Guys, it's been a pleasure. Take care of